Oh yeah, you you are totally right about that. All right, yeah. So that's what we're getting instead. So okay. Blake Diddy. I don't. I feel like once Diddy's in, he's he stays in, but. Link luckily has so many tools to contest with Diddy. Edgeguard Diddy, Boomerang's great, Link Sword, and Delta Force is super solid as a Link player, I gotta say. Like, I feel like dude, people sleep great. on him, but there's a lot of, he, he's, he's up there for sure. 100%, yeah, he's very, very good. Um, and honestly, he shows up in these brackets pretty well too. Mm -hmm. He's, um, I think, like, he kind of, he's pretty much always in top eight, and you'll see him in top three pretty consistent, at least for when he does enter. He doesn't enter all the time, but when he does, uh, he does well. So with that in mind, I actually think a pretty good contender. Boss, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take a tournament here. Um, and yeah, this is... Good. <gasps> Jesus Christ. That was scary. Uh, Petrikov knowing exactly what to do with the barrels, though, and it looked like Delta Force just prepared for it. But yeah, Delta Force, definitely... Um, I'm going to say force again. Force to be reckoned with in these brackets. <laughs> he so definitely is, though. He definitely if he can get past Petrikov right now, uh, I think things are looking pretty good as far as hopes to possibly take a bracket. Is Delta... This is a stupid question. Is Delta a triangle? Is, it, uh, is this tag literally just another fancy way to say Triforce? You know, I should, be able, I should be able to answer this, and yet I can't. What is a Delta tag? Can you help me out? Yeah, no one, someone want to do the Google, the, 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 I think the it Googling is. for us. If you look at Delta Airlines, their logo is a triangle. I think his tag is literally just another way to say Triforce, which is really funny. But also That's really hype. sick. I, did, hype. I never noticed that. Like, um, I have, love the edge guards he's oh. setting up. Like He's laying bomb down over the ledge to force Petrikov to go high, because if uh, if, tri uh, if Delta Force does get that two frame with the bomb, he knocks Diddy out of barrel oh down. Turn that whole situation around. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was looking pretty bad for for Delta Force, and then <laughs> I just figured it out. And this is the scary part about Link. And to, to be honest with you, I feel like we're seeing a really aggressive Link right now. Even if it's just a lot of nares and neutral, that's a, a really good strategy, by the way. That moves fantastic. It's so um, good. Yeah, like this, the, the damage tends to really mount against like a Link who has a lead, and then he's pretty heavy himself, Link. So, God, like, killing him while he's just mounting damage, like, because look at this, like... Yeah, well, he's he's going to live this too, yeah. The, the monkey, oh, wow, okay, yeah, good that was, that was a really smart option by Petrikov, yeah, so at least cleans up the stock, but, you know, not after the damage was done. Petrikov's just getting kind of called out on his approaches, I feel like, a lot of time. I, I feel like he's got to start... This is kind of the pitfall of being, like, a very aggressive player. Diddy can definitely afford to do it. I've seen so many great aggressive Diddy's out there, but you, I feel like you have to know when to pull back just a bit because Delta Force has already adapted a little bit and is mounting. Uh, he's, he's, like, setting himself up to make sure that he anticipates the approach uh, from Petrikov and is intercepting it almost every single time. So, no, don't be afraid to play grounded. Hold that banana and wait for them to crack, you know? You, know, you always got to be the one pressing yeah. Yeah, the thing is, patience in this oh. game is truly a virtue, and I think the more patient you could really be while still being able to put out some offensive options, the better off you are. Oh, yeah. It's really easy to want to hit buttons and stuff, but a lot of times it's to your own detriment. <gasps> Holy He crap, used man. it like a banana, but a banana that doesn't trip. That was so cool. That was such good item play right there by Petrikov. Yeah, Petrikov's honestly playing fantastically. This is hype. Yeah. He's playing in a very hype manner. Mm-hmm. Good job, Matt. If you're if you're watching this vod, you're sick, dude. Go off. Yeah, those are these are all really really smart and good Diddy options that we're seeing too. Is a lot of creative gameplay, and that's like kind of the big thing about Diddy is he can be very creative as a character. A that lot is of free true. Flow. That's why James makes the character work so well. I feel like James is just like James is just this like savant. I mean, he he really do be. Um, and that's the thing is like it's funny is I'm seeing a lot of the stuff that Petrikov is doing, and it is actually reminding me a bit of James, even just with the barrels. Oh my god! Good, yeah. What a down smash! Smart yeah, but Pet Petrikov getting some savant like plays as well. I feel like did did he? I feel like is the character for big brain because you can even play him to his most simple, you know, ground floor, which is get banana punish with banana mm -hmm. or you can just go stupid hard with your setups and your combos like this is why diddy's been ramping up because players have been really exploring the full depth of this kit again instead of just pull banana down tail up smash ee -E -E. 
yeah, like Smash it's, Four. It's true. There's there's a lot more that you have to do this character because all those Smash Four like I don't want to call them brain dead, but some of the things you do with Diddy are not hard to land. You'd see a lot of things like banana up smash that just don't really work the same in this game. They're just like a little weaker. So you have to kind of employ some different options, and, and you know we're seeing that a ton with Petrov right now, uh, like the variety in, the, in which he's getting stocks and putting on damage. This is this is optimal D, uh, Diddy gameplay. Yeah, already 42 built off, and he's catching these landings so well against uh, Delta Force right now. My man's crazy on the barrels too, to be honest. He's not afraid to just let those barrels fly. Like Delta Force, if he can just keep smothering Delta Force, he's gonna be looking good. Um, when Delta Force gets the wall set up, though, it's a little harder because Delta Force has also been really adapting well to it, intercepting a lot of uh, Petrikov's approaches. Oh, she wasn't dying. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, okay, good. Great fair right there. Oh my god, that wow. Forward what a smash reversal. is so, so strong. I think it's it's one of the, the strongest forward smashes in the game, yeah, you I said, believe. I think you said it was the strongest one last time. I don't I know if I'm, it's oh! a strong... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the homie coming into play for Petrikov right there. Daryl said, I got you, fam. Don't worry. I, I just gotta do this round trip real quick. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have been very confident with their item play and reversals this set so far. This is this is a, this is a good set. Yeah, I I think actually what we're seeing out of uh, both Delta Force and Petrikov is, for the most part, pretty high level. You're seeing a lot of smart options, a lot of creative options. Uh, you're seeing the full toolkits being used from the characters. This this is what you want to see, and this is, yeah, only winners quarters. So only one mm -hmm. of these guys is gonna move on. Um, it's almost like, I feel like we're seeing a clash of two different play styles too, because from what I've seen, Delta Force plays very defensively and Petrikov plays very aggressively, so it's it's almost like a smaller version of the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Watch out for the barrels. <laughs> oh my god. I think, yeah, he's controlling him, dude. For sure. Dude, they, they're just, they're just flying yeah, that's so not accidental that they land there. That is definitely being controlled, and it's good. I, and the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure the la I think I remember this correctly, was, uh, oh... I'm just getting the reverse on them. Wouldn't have done anything, but... In either case, uh, I think I remember the last time Delta Force was in bracket was also when Rivers was, and I recall him hitting Delta Force... I recall Rivers hitting Delta Force with those barrels at least once, and I just wonder if... Delta Force is a pretty smart guy. I feel like mm -hmm. probably figured that out at, ever since, because he's mostly prepared with the shield anytime he sees the barrels. Get himself out of harm's way there. Great bomb recovery right there to kind of just mitigate through ledge play. This is going to be some big interactions right there. He's got banana on hand too, so Petrikov has to respect it. Barrels again, and yeah, getting a little too greedy with the barrels right there. I feel like he just could have reset to ledge, but he tried to get the kill and then summon. That's the kind of player Petrikov is. He is he is really all or nothing. Just lay it out on the table. Mm -hmm. The gamble works. He's a genius. If it doesn't work, he's a fool. And unfortunately, came up full on that. It's yeah, because it's kind of crazy seeing some of the things coming out of Petrikov there. Like obviously, a very good player. Like like no question yeah, about that. Sure. No know, knows their stuff. Uh, is able to execute on said stuff. Uh, but maybe take, yeah, maybe restraint. taking a few too many aggressive options. Like just because you can do something doesn't yeah, mean true. you should do something. <laughs> you know, he's got he's got chill. He's got chill. But uh, yeah, other than that, yeah. like really good set. I, I, yeah, this is like sure. the corniest thing to say is like, oh, 2-0 doesn't tell the story of the set. But sometimes it's true. Like you can still have a really good, good gameplay set. Good set. But and have a good set. Yeah, like it still is very real. Um. So on the other side of winners, I.